What's good, YouTube? It's Judah Champ here, and I'm here with another video. And today, I'm going to talk about the U.S. team. Um, it seems like these guys have been in the hot seat within the last past couple of weeks. Um, I mean, I follow Miles Turner, and he had this post where he's like beating himself up. He's like embarrassed and stuff, and it was kind of crazy to see. So I was like, you know what? Let me just make a video on this, and I'll just give you guys my my input on this whole U.S. team and what I'm seeing, and just give you guys a breakdown. And just to start it off, well, I'm just going to just name you the players that's on the team. Uh, I'll just start there. So we have Harrison Barnes, Jalen Brown, Joe Harris, Brooke Lopez, Chris Middleton, Donovan Mitchell, Mason Plumley, Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, Miles Turner, Kemba Walker, and Derek White. And for the coaching staff, we have Greg Popovich and Steve Kerr. So we have the coaching and we have the players. And a lot of question marks is why is... Why are we struggling against these France and uh, S Serbia? That was the other team we lost to, I believe, and we might almost we almost lost to Turkey, but Turkish. But uh, we we managed to survive that. That had been three losses, and we are under the hot seat. A lot of question marks. Um, but I would just tell you guys, man, just pump the brakes. It's not really a big big deal. Um, some people say it is a big deal, but. Right now, it's, it's tryouts. You know, that's pretty much what this is. This isn't the official roster for the U.S. team heading into 2020, it is, but officially it's not. You know, some of these guys are probably not going to be playing next year. So just looking at this roster, very, very young, and there's really no superstar. I mean, I see Kemba Walker and, you know, Tatum, but those are the only two guys I can pull where I can say are superstars, and that's what separates them from the other Olympic teams that we've had. You know, most of the, our Olympics teams had all-stars or Hall of Famers on it. And this one is just a young core group of guys. And this is a completely new team. Um, basically started from scratch. I don't even think any of these guys were even in the 2016 uh, roster, U.S. Olympics team. So that goes to show that this team is basically, it's practically started from zero as far as chemistry. And they have to build it up. And now they're facing teams overseas where these teams that's been playing for their whole life you know these guys that's been playing since they were teenagers are playing against the U.S. and they have that advantage because they've been playing for so long together where it's easier you know us we're still trying to figure out who's who who identifies with what who can take over in big time moments who's the alpha dog and no one really had their identity on this team and we're still just trying to figure that out and that explains why we haven't been putting up the numbers we thought we would see from from players like Kemba I mean we thought he'd be putting up 20 a game and Jay like we you know we talk about LeBron James how easy it is and we talk of you know we talk about the stat lines but you know Chris Middleton and these guys um, are struggling um, you know Mason Plumley. I mean just looking at this roster I mean we don't really have all-stars or a big guy like Damian Lillard, we don't have stars at that level that's on this team. So, um, just to just to give you guys just to get more input on this video, when I mentioned that this is not the official roster, um, who knows? It might be guys like LeBron, Curry that might even consider maybe playing next year. I mean, it's going to be pretty cool. The the Olympics is going to be in Tokyo. How cool is that? I mean, so much guys might consider might want to just go and bring their family. And, you know, enjoy that experience. So for guys that might possibly, as far as level of superstar, I'm going to give you these names who I think can possibly maybe want to play next year in the Olympics. We have LeBron James, Steph Curry, James Harden, Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, Kawhi Leonard, Damian Lillard, Paul George, and we have Draymond Green. Now, Draymond Green recently reported, a report came out about him being excited if he was to get called up to play for the U.S. team. So I think he's all in, and that'll be very good to see Draymond come to this team and be the alpha dog and be the anchor on defense. I could definitely see him leading us as far as defense. And um, you know, we got LeBron James. Depending on how far he goes into the finals, if he goes to the finals, depending on that, um, who know? You know, he might be tired um, from a long season. He probably doesn't want to play three more months of basketball, but we'll see how he feels. That Steph Curry is the same thing. You know, he might consider playing, but. Who knows if he's if his ankles are good, he might consider playing. We have James Harden. 
um, depending if how how much he wants to keep playing basketball. Let's say if he if the Rockets even go to the finals. I mean, if, let's see how healthy he is to want to play. Uh, Kevin Durant, obviously Achilles injuries, he's not going to play. Anthony Davis, depending on where his mind is at, he might consider playing. Uh, Westbrook, I know he recently had a child, so he might want to spend time with his family. You know, next off season, who knows? So you know, but he can maybe consider playing in the U.S. team. Uh, we have Kawhi Leonard. I mean, he won a championship in Canada. Why can't he win one in the U.S., right? <laughs> and then we have Damian Lillard. You know, he might suit up for U.S. next year. So it's a possibility. And we have Paul George. So it's a possibility that maybe one of the, you know, maybe five of these guys could possibly try to, you know, incline themselves to want to join this U.S. team and represent us. So, I mean, I just feel like you guys got to kind of relax a little bit. I mean, it's a lot of heat that this team is taking. It's crazy. <laughs> Our U.S. team is getting crucified, but you guys got to understand, uh, you know, this is not official roster. We don't know who's going to play. So, you know, the real deal is next year. Next year is the real deal where we can um, see who's going to really make the roster, who's really going to put us on the map, um, put us back on the globe. I mean, map the globe, you know, so it's a big deal. So um, we're just going to see. But y'all know, man, you guys leave a comment and... You know, leave a comment and just say who you think is going to make it out of the list I gave you. Um, do you think we're going to win it all? Do you think we're going to lose? Um, I don't know. You guys give me your yeah, perspective on this USA team situation or just something I'm missing. Um, or is it a lack of talent? You know, you guys tell me what you guys think about this roster and um, who should they add or who should they drop. Who's the weakest link or who's the superstar? I mean, I'm going with Kemba and Tatum, but if you guys think someone else is a superstar, then you guys let me know. Um, I'm dropping NFL and NBA content, so be sure to subscribe and catch me on my next video. Peace.